now I want to make a quick note here, guys, just so you know, um, when police come in and interview you, all right, and they ask you questions and it's like a free interview and you're free to go and they're not necessarily, you're not under arrest or you're not being, you know, you're not detained. They don't have to necessarily read your Miranda rights. Now, what are the Miranda rights? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You know, if you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed for you, blah, 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 right? Every agency has a different, you know, variation of the verbiage, but that's essentially what it is, right? Uh, in the United States. But in this case, right, I don't know if they read him as Miranda rights uh, when they actually went and did the official interview here in the movie. Obviously, they didn't add that in there, but they didn't necessarily have to. Now, when I was an agent, personally, I would read people their Miranda rights, right? Just because, yo, listen, man, just so y'all know, this is just kind of what I have to get. I would, I would kind of like downplay it a bit, read them their rights. And then if they did say anything, I would be covered, right? But can you get away with interviewing a suspect, asking them incriminating questions, right? Without Miranda? Yes, you can if they were free to leave and they were under that impression that they were free to leave, right? And if the, the detectives let them know, listen, man, you're free to leave. This is just a voluntary interview. We're just trying to gather some facts, blah, blah, blah. There's different ways to finesse it. But me personally, I always used to read them their rights, right? At least verbally. Um, and then get into the questioning. I would downplay it, of course. And then, you know, you would get into asking questions. But you can get away without it. So this could be factually correct as far as the movie goes.